schoolwork this morning in here I'm gonna take her outside most people have gone at this free camp but you can just see how big this space is I'll spin you around so a massive gravel pit really yeah. huge lots of, space. lots of space and we're parked right down here all right we're off we've started our walk so we're doing a similar walk to yesterday except yesterday we just went straight down and straight up these man-made stairs whereas today we're walking on the top of the gorge around down the gorge through the gorge to that beautiful water hole where we can all swim whenever we're going to a gorge like this we like to take the pool noodles so we can just float in there and it's so much easier for the kids too so easy way to carry them whack them in between your bag. Leonardo and... Oh, yeah, we saw this. Leonardo Ooh. and Michelangelo. Ah. I can't get mine out. <laughs> Whoa, it's not going to work. Mummy! <laughs> now, worst, like it. worst Ma turtles ever. Hey. And this is what we come to. Check this out. Turn you around. Yeah, 
two. Oh, I wouldn't mind one. Yeah. <laughs> he popped a noodle out. Pretty cool waterfall, isn't it? Yeah, it's really warm. Very cool. Swing you around. Whoa. Right, so we're heading back to Dale's campground because we've got a spot, or half a spot, which is enough for us to sneak in there for a couple of days. All right, we're in. And I think it's pretty good. Look, it's not absolutely perfect down there, but that's pretty close. And even with the two fans in here, check this out. We've got heaps of space. Lovely. So we're at Dale's campground. Um, and we think we had some dingoes around our caravan last night. And the kids are just doing some dingo tracking. They're tracking their, um, their tracks. <laughs> yeah. See if they can find it. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, but a really nice day here. And we're going to do some exploring. So we're going to head off early, which is like 8.30 for us. That's early. We're going to ditch schoolwork today. And we're just going to explore as much as we can because the weather, look, you can see, as Danny said, it's a cracker today. Yeah. And tomorrow the weather's supposed to turn. So we're going to make the most we possibly can out of today. Yeah. Got to our first place, but a bit of a mishap. I have the sunscreen on my lap and I don't know how I didn't notice but it was leaking everywhere. Look at the seat. I'm not going to be able to get that off. It's not coming off at all. Maybe we should put some water okay, on Leather this. seats would be good at the moment, wouldn't they? Mm. Damn it. It's going to be a nice stain. Well, <laughs> all right, first walk for today done. Took us an hour 45, it was a class four, and it was supposed to take three hours. It, three, it was three kilometers return, but it was, you know, a lot of jumping over rocks and stuff. How'd you find it? Bad. Bad? <laughs> well, you're a bit tired now, aren't you? We've still got two gorges to do, so there might be a nap in the car needed, hey? Between them, I think so. <laughs> Good work, bud. Made it down, made it across water, it is a bit brisk. Freezing. Up, 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 Got it. Got it? That's a wrap. French photo? <laughs> yeah. Holly, French photo. I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? Does it look like it? Don't I? Mom, <laughs> okay, ready? I'm gonna lift you up. Three, two, one, up. Two gorges done, one to go. All this, I think there's like three gorges in this one area. Not a walking, more my mum. Well, your steps is two of your steps to one of mine, isn't it? Maybe even three. So you have to take heaps more steps than me. Like <laughs> whether we do this. Uh, the kids want to do it. We're not so sure it's super slippery. But you're only here once, hey? I'm going to do it, but kids, I don't know. I don't know, they want to do it, but... How about we just try, and if we can't handle it, we'll come back. Yeah. I'll give it a try. Huh? Do you want me to go up and see? <laughs> 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 
We're gonna do it. I'm We're gonna gust it. I'm We're gonna be so time. slow and just take our time. We can do this. Yay! We can do with this. Wait there, wait there. Look how far we go. We made it, we made it. Oh, we made it. And, and. What are you doing going up there now? Why risk it? Jeez. We made it, we made it. because we got back through the hard part that we were all freaking out about and then we forgot <laughs> there's this water part that we have to get through the as cold. well that the cold section it's cold that's down to our knees well our thighs and it's like what's the time it's like almost five o'clock and it gets dark at about 5 30 so we're going yeah, we should get out of here. So proud of this boy. What about that spider climb? Ah. Oh. You proud of yourself? Yeah. Well done, guys. So proud that you made it all the way to the end and spider walk, and everyone did the Spider Man walk. So good. <laughs> so proud of them. Yeah. We'll show you the photos, but they did an awesome job getting down there. Yeah, absolutely nailed it. Yeah, it was pretty. Got a bit hairy towards the end, a little bit slippery, and yeah, the rocks were super smooth and slippery, but they made it. That's just miles. We are all absolutely cooked. Oh. So what we left at about 8:30. It's 5:30. We're not even back yet. Three big walks, yeah. climbing, and my legs are already hurting. I think yeah. Tomorrow yeah. we are going to be cooked. Holy gosh. You know how we said we shouldn't drive in the dark? Well, we just drove probably 80 k's in the dark. But that's all right, we got back and we're safe. Oh, the lights are on. Got back and we're fine. So that's good. Oh, can't see me out there, safe here. So, you know how after golf and you just really need a beer after any game of golf, after doing that long walk? I am dying for a beer. Oh, so a couple of beers. Beer. A couple of beers, some dinner, put the hot water on for some showers, and we're all gonna sleep really well tonight. That's for sure, aren't we? Yeah. All right, <laughs> see ya, good night. Good thing we got all the walks in yesterday because it's raining in a place that never rains this time of year. So <laughs> We've had that a bit lately, haven't we? Again, yeah, just as we're packing up as well. Yeah, so today we're gonna head to Tom Price. We're gonna try and get in the caravan park there just for one night. Mm. Uh, hopefully get a powered spot so we can put the air conditioner on and get some power so we can load the next episode for you guys Hopefully there's some grass there because there is red this red dirt is getting everywhere or <laughs> yeah. red mud now. I just stomped it all through the van It wasn't good We're at Tom Price Tourist Park and uh, we stayed in a powered spot last night and I'm so, we're so glad we did because it was freezing um, and we went and asked if there's any more powered spots for tonight and there's not. It's only unpowered, we're like, we definitely need powered. They, there is a spot but it's for camper trails, it's tiny so we're going to see if we can get into it. So we can squeeze in there. It'll be a laugh if anything, if not anything oh. else. Yeah, might take out a couple of poles. Yeah. 
We're just doing a walk by to have another look at this site, see what we think. I'll turn you around, see what we're dealing with. Okay, so this is the site here. So see how we've got the fence around it and the pole just there. We have to kind of come in this way and around here. Like it's wide enough there, but it's maneuvering it in this bit. And there's not much room to play with here to come in because there's all poles everywhere. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. Now, this could result in a massive fight. It could. Um, it could result in me taking out a power pole. Uh, hopefully, it's going to result in us getting in the site. I don't think we'll fit completely, but I think we'll fit enough. Oh my gosh, coming up to it, I'm like, we've got no chance. <laughs> okay. Turn the reverse camera on. I need to go left first, which means right down. I think I'm missing that pole. That's good. Straight on that line. That pole on the right. That's good. So if I ever feel like the van is getting to one side too much, then I'll turn my steering wheel towards that side as if I'm yep. hitting the van with the steering wheel. I don't think there's any chance I'm going to fit in here, to be honest. No way. This is crazy. Hmm, maybe. Yep. Am I right with the pole on my left? You are. You need to go that way, but. Yep, straight back. Yep. Yep, now. Left. Oh shit. Can't believe. I'm actually yep. doing this. Hard left, that's it. Keep going. Yep, hard left. Yeah, follow it. This is the best bloody driving stop in history. There. Yeah, you're just going to miss this bit. Well, should we just unhitch there? Because we're in. You can go back a bit more. Just got to watch that pole there. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, straighten your wheel. Straighten your wheel. There we go. <laughs> First go, eh? Easy as that. Bada boom boom. Bada boom boom. I've never said that before. Bada boom boom. Go oh, hey. eat. Yeah, you could go. Well, Hold let's on. not get fancy. Yeah, I mean, just to straighten it up. But I've still got to get out of here. I know, but... We'll have a look. Yeah. That's pretty well done, if you ask me. With all these poles in the way. Poles everywhere. It's a pole a So when we were driving a couple of days ago, we got a little chip in our windscreen from a rock that a truck flicked up when we are driving, so we're just going to fix it with some um, a windscreen repair kit. It's just a bit of resin and you, you push it on and it um, fills in the gap, so mm. should fix it up. Yeah, and Good. this is the second time this has happened to us on the trip, isn't it? Yeah, but you've got to expect it on these roads, there's so many rocks flying up. Yeah. And it's best just to, to get it early so it doesn't spread, or well, the crack yeah. doesn't spread too much. So this was the one that happened ages ago, you can hardly even see it. Here, that's the crack ages ago, and you don't even see if you can see the line. It spreads to about there, the line. We got that early, and this one 
is here, just there. It's a decent crack. But it's funny our different perspective because the first time it happened to us, it was like the end of the world, like, oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. Like when you first start traveling, whereas now you just roll with the punches, like you just expect things go wrong. Um, it's not like well, all of a sudden you go on a trip like this and nothing goes wrong, like it's still life. So once I think once you have that change in perspective, then you just roll with it. Nothing really bothers you as much. This is what the repair kit packet looks like. And the first thing is you need to attach this thing. And then the resin we pour into the hole and then screw it, wind that little thing down to push it in. Screw it down further. Is that the right way or the other way? So you want it to be fairly hard. And we'll take it off and see if it needs to reapply. Do that again, let it dry again, and then you put one of these plastic sheets over it and you Natural. scrape it off the excess with the razor blade and you're good to go. Yeah. Sorry, it just got me thinking. We don't have a rock stomper on the van, but what we do is if we're going on any really rocky roads, then we get a yoga mat. We learned this off someone who'd done the lap before us. We buy a yoga mat and we place the yoga mat on the outside. We just wrap it around the side and wrap it around this side and sometimes we put a sheet over it like a bed sheet over it and around it just to secure it in there and we use that to protect the back windscreen and we've done heaps of rocky roads and we've never had a problem so fingers crossed touch wood that um we don't have a problem when we keep doing that and we are going to hammersley gorge but to get there we have to go through a private rio tinto road yeah so to get the you need a permit to go on this road and to get the permit you can either go online and do a course, answer 10 questions I think, or you can go to the visitor centre at Tom, uh, Tom Price, watch a 20 minute video and then they, um, they give you the permit. So it's just basically showing you speed limits, what you can and can't do, because there's a lot of road trains and uh, maintenance, and maintenance vehicles on this place. So, M sat through it as well, so she'll, she knows all, all the rules. Uh, so it means that only Danny can drive on the road because the person yeah. who watched it has the permit and then they need to drive, so he'll be the driver for it. Wowzers! Look at this. This is probably the best gorge we've been to all around Australia. You can see the, the colours. There's so many colours, it's like a rainbow. You've got the, the greens of the water, and then you've got the, the rocks, they're like purples, oranges, reds, yellows. It's amazing. Waterfalls. What a spot. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please welcome. subscribe. Uh, and if you're a returning viewer, you will know that we do this little session which we call ramblings at the end of our episodes. And it's basically just to give you a bit of information about us so you can get to know us. Because in our first episode, we were just like, hey, we're starting YouTube and we had been traveling for like a year before that and we basically didn't bring up to speed or you know anything about us. So that's why we're doing it. 
Uh, so, so the last episode we left you just as we were um, had done Cooper PD and we were in South Australia. We'd done the Flinders and we were around... yeah, we were outside of Adelaide and uh, we're going to go visit Adelaide because my brother's in Adelaide and got some bad news in regards to your poppy. So yeah, so my poppy um, passed away and we were like, oh, do I go back home to Sydney? Um, because we were a little bit worried if borders closed, I wouldn't be able to get back to our family. So we decided, yeah, I'm going to go. Um, I'm only going to go for like two days just to give my mum a hug. Uh, and so it was... So it was Sunday night. So you booked the tickets Sunday night to, for Tuesday morning. Mm. And when you're booking the tickets, it comes up with COVID insurance. And I was like, there's no way we're going to need COVID. You're going to need COVID insurance. No. Like you're going on Tuesday. Yeah. So didn't pay the 10 bucks for COVID insurance. So what happens Monday morning is like 20 cases in Adelaide for the first time ever. Yeah, we South wake Australia. up to that. <laughs> and it's like, okay, plans are completely changed. You can't risk going to Sydney no. and getting stuck there. So out of South Australia into Victoria. Yeah. Because we've got tickets booked to Tasmania and we don't want to be stuck in a lock lockdown area. So... Straight. Yeah, and at that point, Victoria yeah. had had all of their lockdown. They had just come out of it, and there were no cases, so you could get to Tassie from Vic, no problems, but other hotspots, they wouldn't let you in from, to Tassie. Yeah, so raced into Victoria, did the Grampians, and up to the up to Yachuca, then across to Albury via some awesome golf courses. Yeah. Uh, got a bit of stuff done to the van, and then headed to Tassie. Yeah. And in Albury, we were staying with some awesome friends. So we had like a week there. It was amazing. Uh, and then as we were leaving, though, because we had the van um, on their property, we weren't in and out of the van. We were in their house. Uh, Danny noticed, oh, so we'd hitched up and everything ready to get the boat to Tassie. And he goes, oh, I think that's a flat tyre there. Yeah, so we checked it like 20 k's down the road and it was a flat tyre. Yeah. So I pumped it up and hoping that it'd get us to, to Melbourne, which it did, luckily. Yeah, then, we're like, we'll just limp onto the boat and yeah. we'll get it sorted at the other end. Yeah, so get on the ferries overnight um, overnight to, to Launceston. Yeah, oh, if you're catching the ferry, definitely do the overnight. I would hate to do that during the day. Mm. Uh, not that I've done it, but just from doing the nighttime one, I would do the nighttime one. Yeah, so got into Launceston, uh, going down to our car, expecting the tyre to be completely fat. Flat, fat, <laughs> completely <laughs> flat, uh, which it wasn't. It had a little bit of air in it, so went straight to the tyre place, got it fixed up, and then travelled yeah. Tassie for six weeks, which was awesome. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, uh, and we had we had been travelling on and off with um, another travelling family called the Daily Trippers, who we get on with like a house on fire, and the kids love each other, and the adults get along great. Yeah, and it's always good to travel with another family. I think just to have a, have a break. Have a break. <laughs> just to get away from your partner. Just have a break from each other. Yeah, daily, Joking, but it's true. Yeah. So Daly took me out fishing and almost killed me on the mountain bike trails of St. Helens. Oh, yeah. Thanks for that, mate. Um, we love that, Daly. Yeah. Uh, but had an awesome time in Tassie. Six yeah. weeks there. Probably eight weeks is... Eight weeks would be perfect. Preferable. But, and yeah. the time of year that we went was fantastic. So we got there, start of December, and we left around the 20th of Jan. Maybe do it a tiny bit later, but their summer doesn't kick in until a little bit later. And, like, f apparently February is awesome. Yeah. Um, really nice, but the, the water was still a bit chilly to to uh, have a swim. But Yeah. So from there... Uh, so we were catching the Spirit of Tasmania... Oh my gosh. I don't know what day it was, but we were up playing golf in the morning up at Barn Boogle. Best course ever. Yeah, my favourite course ever. Uh, so on the way back to Launceston to hitch up, we got a flat, another flat tyre. Yeah. This so... time was a proper, proper flat, like... Yeah. We could only go like 20 metres after the... Yeah, the rock went in it, and as we drove it, it was like... Oh, no. Yeah. And we're... <laughs> we have never changed a tyre between us. And we're on this dirt... Dirt road in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, stressing out because um, actually the Daily Troopers had the kids and we had to get back to them to pick up the kids, hitch up, and then get to the boat. Yeah. So anyway, we managed to get the spare tyre yeah. onto the car and drove the van. And when we're driving the van... 
Okay, so we're driving and we're on this highway and there's an off ramp and you have to go on that to view to another highway to take you to um, the boat. And we can see some smoke coming up kind of near where that ramp was. And so I said to Danny, get your phone out. I'm not sure what's going on over here. Um, so we go towards that ramp and then we see a car totally on fly fire, like totally engulfed, mm. coming straight at us. Yeah, it was like, we're turning left and it's coming down this hill straight at us. And Ed and started I'm to slow down. down. I said, no, go, go, go fast, <laughs> try and beat it and sort of turn around a bit. Luckily, it sort of hit, it was like an embankment before the, yeah, before there the road. Yeah, like we're here, it's coming here and there's a hedge. And we're, yeah. oh my gosh. Um, but luckily, there was no one in the car, so it was fine. Apparently, that's a renowned spot for people like stealing cars and setting them on fire there. So they must have done that and the handbrake's gone off or what, something and it's just started going down yeah. the hill towards us. Don't know what it was, but anyway, we're, it was almost like, are we not meant to catch this boat or yeah. like flat tires and cars coming at us on fire? So <laughs> We're just waiting for like something else to happen. Yeah. Anyway, we got the boat all fine and then we went, got into back into Victoria and I'm sure we have been talking for more than five minutes. So we're going to leave so, it there. That'll do. But love Tassie. Tassie's Yeah. And we hadn't originally planned on doing Tassie in the lap, but because everything got changed so much, Western Australia wasn't open yet. So we were like, okay, well, let's go and do Tassie. Um, mm. So if you've got the time, put it on there. It's definitely worth it. Definitely, yeah. Okay, so that's the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, chuck a comment below. Let us know if you're still enjoying the ramblings. Let us know if there's anything that you want to know about us or that you want us to talk about. Uh, and like, subscribe, everyone, and that's it. That'll do. Cheers. See you later. Cheers.